Hello, this is session five of our introduction to long division series. And we are doing a review from third grade of lesson 12, session two. In the paper packet that I gave you, we are on page 255. So go ahead and turn to 255 and get your pencil ready because if I write it, you should be writing it. So, on page 255, we're going to start here at the top. It says, Joe knows nickels are worth five cents, and she needs 40 cents altogether. She wants to find how many nickels she needs. So, Joe writes, 40 divided by five equals unknown. How many nickels does Joe need? Well, so we can take this fact and turn it around to make it into a multiplication sentence to help us know. We know that if 40 divided by 5 equals something, that we can also do 5 times something equals 40. And if we know our 5s and we can skip count by our 5s and we want to do a multiplication, we can easily find the answer because we can do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we can see that our answer is going to be 8. You can also draw a model or a tape diagram to solve this fact, but this is the quickest one. So Joe needs 8 nickels is our answer. Let's go ahead and go to page 256. On here, it shows us some other ways that we can um, find how to find the nickels. Right here, um, it is showing us skip counting, and they are doing skip counting on a number line. So you can see here again, they do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And when they make that eighth jump and it lands on 40, they can see that they need eight nickels. You can also model it. Um, right here, they wrote the multiplication facts for five. And so once they find all the multiplication facts, they can go back and see that 8 times 5 is 40. And so the number that's missing in this fact family is going to be 8. Go ahead and turn to page 257. Okay, number 1 on 257. It says... Let me zoom in a little bit more. Mo wants to know how many nickels he needs to make 45 cents. He writes 45 divided by something equals 5. What other division fact can he write to model this problem? Well, this is where, again, where we're using those fact families. So 5 can go right here, or it can actually go right there. So he could do 45 divided by 5 equals something, and that's our answer. Write the two multiplication facts that are in the same fact family. Use a square for the unknown number. So now we're turning this around into a multiplication problem. 5 times something equals 45, or something, actually this should be an and, something times 5 equals 45. Look at the list of multiplication facts for 5 on the previous page. Which fact will help Mo answer his division problems? How many nickels does Mo need? So it's telling us to go back to our previous page, 256, and it's telling us to find the numbers that would help us. So we need one that has 5 in it, and we need one that has 45 in it. So we see that this one right here has 5, and it has 45. So that tells us that our unknown number that is going to go in the box on all of these problems is going to be 9. Explain how you know which multiplication fact you can use to help you find the unknown number in a division fact. Well, if we know, if we know our multiplication facts,
we can use the two numbers to find the fact, then we will know the unknown number. Okay, and then we are go not going to do number five, so you can skip number five. Go ahead and go to page 258. On page 258, it says use the number line to solve 24 divided by 4 equals unknown. Show your work. So down here, it's showing us that it's beginning by skip counting. So 0, 4, and we're just going to keep skip counting. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and 30. But when we do our jumps up here on top, we need to stop at 24. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps. So we know that our unknown number is going to be 6. Because 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Number seven, write the unknown product, then complete this fact family. So the unknown is going to be two times three equals six. So then our other multiplication fact is going to be three times two equals six. And now we're gonna move these numbers around to make a division problem. Six divided by three equals two and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Now we're going to go to the last one on our page. Write two multiplication facts Bryce can use to solve unknown divided by 3 equals 7. Well, this unknown number is typically our biggest number because it's the number in front of the division sign. So we know that we can find the answer to this by doing 3 times 7, or we can do 7 times 3. I like to use the three ones because when you put the smaller number in the front, it makes it easier to solve the answer. So 3 times 7 equals 21. So I know that 7 times 3 also equals 21. Let's go ahead and move on to page 259. Now, on 259, I highly suggest that you work on this page on your own first and then come back and finish watching this video for the answers. So if you want to pause and go do that, then come back. That would be great. All right, page 259. Um, it says that we are going to be using the example up here to help us solve problems 1 through 3. How many fish are there all together? You can find out by either counting them or you can also look at this fact family and see that there's 15 fish. 15 fish swim in three equal rows. How many fish are in each row? Well, look, we have 15 fish here and there's one, two, three rows. So we just need to count one row. One, two, three, four, five. 15 fish swim in rows of five fish. How many rows of fish are there? Well, if you look down this way, there's one, two, three, four, five. So how many are in one row? One, two, three. Now we're moving on to number four. Zoom out. Okay. You know that four times nine equals 36, right? The whole fact family. Use the numbers 4, 9, and 36. Well, we can easily know that 4 times 9 is 36. So that means 9 times 4 is also 36. And I'm going to move these numbers around. I'm going to put the 36 in the front on both of these problems because the biggest number goes in front of the division sign. And on one of them, I can do 36 divided by 4 equals 9. 
And on the other, I can do 36 divided by 9 equals 4. And that is it for this page. You can go ahead and go to page 260, our last page for today. Sienna draws 18 squares in two equal groups of 9. Which division equation does her drawing show? Okay, so we have 18 total, so that should be the number in the front. So that eliminates two of these. It eliminates A and D. Now, how many groups is it divided into? It's divided into two equal groups, and there's six in each group. So if it's divided by two, so that would be 18 divided by 2 and equals 9 in one group. So our answer is C. Number 6. Write two different division equations about the array. First, we need to find the total number. You can find that by counting each one or by multiplying um, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. So we know that 18 is going to be what's in the front, and one of these I'm going to do 18 divided by 3 equals 6, and the other I'm going to do 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Now we're going down to number 7. Use the number line to show how you can find how many friends Chi gave cards to. Chi has 24 trading cards. He gives away all of his cards to friends. He gives 8 cards to each friend. If he gave eight cards to each friend, that means that we, our number line is going to skip count by eight. So eight, 16, 24, 30, 36, whoops, 38. Oh, I counted wrong. Redo that one. Okay. Zero, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. There we go. I started by counting by eights and went to counting by sixes. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay. He had 24 cards total. So this is where he had cards total. So we need to skip count and jump by and see until we get to 24. There's one, two, three. So he was able to give cards to three friends if he gave them eight each. Write two division facts for this story. So our total number of cards is 24 and if we divide it by eight cards to each friend that means there's three friends. Our other one is 24 divided by three friends equals eight cards each. Now it says down here at the bottom, to write the multiplication facts that belong to the same fact family. So we're just going to move these numbers around. 8 times 3 equals 24, and 3 times 8 equals 24. That is it for today. We are done with this um, session. We have one last session to do, and before you begin that session, you should solve the problems on your own and make sure that you were able to do them. Thanks again. Bye-bye.